on Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to troubleshoot the fuel pump in this vet. Um, I'm not sure if it's in the system or if the pump itself went bad. This thing has been setting for seven years. So it could be the pump it worked before we brought it out here. Once we brought it out here, it never kicked on. So I don't know. I have checked the fuse and the fuse is good, but I haven't checked the relay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to get to these wires and we wanna check them back here. Find out if it is getting power to the pump and then we'll go from there. If it is, then I'll know it's the pump. I've already got one. We may go ahead and change that out today. It's a little windy today, guys. It's a beautiful day, but it is windy. Got the neighbor right next door here. He's mowing, but he's almost done. So, you know, he tries to keep his yard clean. So, looks nice. It used to look like a park through there before they got older. But, uh, so anyway, back to this. Let's get on this and let's see if we can figure out why the fuel pump's not working. Okay guys, so the first thing we got to do is when you lift this up, there's a screw here, one there, one back there, and one back there. It's just, it's just four screws that holds this on. So we're going to take them out. They are Phillips screws. I got the top down on it, letting it air out. You know, getting that old car smell, that musty smell. You don't want that. Again, this is a 1990. Supercharger is not going back on it. I run the stock belt system on it again. It's going to have plenty of power. We're not going to drag race this thing. Some things are better left alone. I'm not sure what the differential the rear end is. I don't know if it's 373. It is a it is a posi, but I'm not sure what posi it's got in it. I don't know if it's 373 or what. So, all right. Now we got to get this out of here. I got this ready here to I gotta get the key. Hang on. I don't. I can't see you guys on the screen, so I don't know what all you're seeing. And then we gotta get. Gotta get this up out of here. Like I said, I did get a high performance. Uh, fuel pump for it because this engine is not stock so I got one that's good up to seven or eight hundred horsepower these things can be a pain they will rip as you can see this one's ripping yeah it's ripping down around there But you have to get, you know, you got to get it out. These things aren't very much money. See. Uh, this one's been patched. So this has been out before. Yeah, this one's been patched here and here. And here's all our wires. And now I see something already I don't like. There is a wire. Let me see what you guys are looking at here. I don't know. There is a wire here that has 
a scotch lock on it that's not factory that's not original so I don't know there's also one here with a wire nut on it that's not original let me put this cap back on so I don't get a bunch of dirt down in there Yeah, I, I'm not sure what that is. That means I'm going to have to trace these wires. <coughs> Someone's had a problem before. I know he was having trouble with this fuel pump. I've been told that by a couple different people. But why? I mean, is that a power wire coming from the front? Why was this one cut and put back together like that? I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so right here, there's a wire nut. Those don't come on cars. And right here is the scotch lock. Again, I can't see what you guys, sorry, the lighting sucks out here. So I'm not sure what that is all about. I don't know if that goes up front somewhere. I don't know why this one was just cut and wired back together for some reason. So, let me trace this down and see if I can find out where this goes. But anyway, to take the fuel pump out, there's four bolts here. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's a bolt that's not all the way in there. This fuel pump's been out of here before. Six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like nine or ten. There's a bolt right here. Again, I can't see what you guys are. Right there, there's a bolt that's not all the way tight. This fuel pump's been out of here before. But I don't understand the wire the wire deal I gotta get the wire strained out before I put a new fuel pump in it so let me see if I can trace trace out trace where this goes looks like it's going down underneath the car all right let me see what I can find out real quick okay guys I got monkey here she's gonna give me a hand real quick I've got my test light grounded onto the trailer hitch I think the brown and white wire should be positive so it should come on for at least two seconds and then go out. All right, let's see. Go ahead, Monk, turn the key on. Okay, it's on. It went out, shut it off. Do it one more time. It's on, it should go out, and there it is. Okay, now I've plugged this in. Thank you, Monkey. I've plugged this in, and the pump is not running, so we're, we're gonna have to pull this pump out of here. Uh, I found another cute little wire here that's uh, looks like a big ground wire. I don't know uh, what this is for or where it goes, but I know this one wire right here, this wire goes down, wraps around the suspension stuff, comes up here into this aftermarket relay. There's a plug down underneath here uh with wires that go back to the fuel pump for the for the fuel gauge and the fuel pump and it was laying on the header fortunately it did not burn through so um let's keep the vet she says it'll be fun she says thanks monk again sorry for the wind okay there's two that are not tight and i see why Looks like they're stripped and that's where they stopped them. These are 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna take all these bolts. I already got the lines unhooked and the wires unhooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these, uh, pull all these bolts out of here. And then I'll kick you back on when I pull this pump up out of here. Okay guys, I got all the bolts out. Now we're gonna just pull this straight up out. This 
just like that. Now be careful with this thing because that is your float for your fuel gauge. And if that gets messed up, shoot. Now look at that. But anyway, if you bend that, you'll get a false reading on your gauge. That's busted off for the gauge. So the gas gauge is not going to work. All right. Let me get this set over here. We'll clean it up and make sure that none of the lines are clogged. Which they shouldn't be, but we'll get it cleaned off and we'll put a new, uh, new pump on it. Okay, guys. Again, sorry for the wind. I'm just going to get a whole new sending unit. Um, I got a little concerned about all this rust, but I looked down in the tank and the tank is fine. So, tank looks like new down in there. So we're going to take this all. Take this all. I'm going to take this all. There's the old pump. I got the new one in here. I'm going to clean all this stuff up. I am going to stick it back in. I am going to put this back in there. To see if that was the issue. Or not. I think it was. But uh, it may be fired up. Let it run for maybe a minute or so. Um, but the tank looks fine in there. Apparently there is some moisture in it from sitting in that garage for five years, sitting out here for two years. So, here's our accessory pack. I got two socks. Which is good because if it sucks up anything, I'll have a new sock extra. Here's the star of the show. This guy right here. There, there it be. Alright, now, go ahead and open this guy up. I'll show you what kind it is here in just a second. And it works on OEM stuff and okay, so now Okay, so this thing was out. I can tell you that. But I don't think it was changed. Here's you some clamps. Uh, some of these little things here. Butt connectors. I'll need a new gasket around here. Like I said, we're not driving this car yet. So, so this is going to go in here like that. Then it's going to slip up in there. Back down into here. We'll put the sock on it. And we'll stick it down in to make it run. And then I will order see some of them have this kind of gasket. There's one of these deals. Need that. A little screen all right so now I'm gonna to have to hook these two wires up to these two wires and I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and do that because it's it's nothing to it hook the black to black red to the gray um, and then 
that's pretty much taken care of. Okay, all right. Well, just checking some things here. All right, cool. All right, let me, uh, could be in this thing here. Right here, could be in that. Let me get it hooked up. We'll turn the key on, see if it, see if it pumps. But it needed a pump anyway. I can't get over how clean that tank is. I'm just wondering if he didn't replace the tank and stick this old junky thing back down in there. Because that tank looks like new on the inside. But I may have to replace it. Because those two, those two bolts that were in there cross-threaded were in there tight and they're stripped. Uh, so I may have to, you know, if I pull that tank out to tap them out, I'm just going to throw another tank in it. But we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. But So, all right. Let me get this put on here. Like I said, all this does is this goes up in here like that. This goes down through here. And then the sock goes on it. may not even need that for right now because I'm going to be pulling this out again so we just want to be able to get to where we can hear it run today so all right guys I'll be back with you hang tight okay guys we're going to hit it one time the fuel injector still ain't firing but it does have fuel pressure up to the fuel rail now and it's also got a leaky injector that it never had before hit it monk There we go. All right, let me put a little more fuel down in there. We'll get it to run for another second. When it's running, let off that key. Burn that storage. Are we getting closer? I don't know about that. Why? I don't know. There's a lot of issues. <laughs> well, we are closer because... It starts. Well, we now got fuel up to it. Right. Injector still ain't firing. Right. So that's probably that VAT system. Probably. But we know the fuel pump was bad. So now we just got to get a sending unit and figure out why the injectors aren't firing right right so that could be another wiring issue could be fuse i don't know could be the vat system i have not replaced it yet so we'll see right yeah we'll see so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it we're getting there like i said it's going to take a year or two yeah yep it's not a weekend project is it no <laughs> all right guys well shea bear to make the main legend gone for now we'll see you on the next one monk Mike says, Chef, for now. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.